So, <clears throat> people will generally live life and then they'll run into people that will, um, will cause them to believe that people are naturally good. Right. Um, these people will do things out of just, you know, like, you know, like human kindness, you know, out of, out of, out of our own human will, right? Um, and then eventually that will, that will in your mind and in many people's minds change the thoughts about the human condition that we are actually in fact evil, right? So if you consider, if you consider the, the, the way that one might go about um, seeing somebody as evil, it won't be as, uh, it won't be as recognized because many people will see like on TV, for example, right? On TV, for example, generally speaking, just using common sense, anybody can see that the the things in on tv they uh they emphasize certain things right like the, 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 there's an agenda right there is there is a uh, uh, material that's that's aired that needs to bring in viewers need to keep in viewers somehow some way right so now it's fear-based, as we see, that almost all the time, uh, most of the time, it is, it is bad news, right? What about, you know, the random people that do acts of kindness, right? So then, so if, if most of it is bad news, now you're wired to think in a certain way. So when you're wired to think in a certain way, anything that opposes that will catch your attention and then you can conclude something from it that may not be true, right? For example, we usually see bad news on the TV. So-and-so country did this. So-and-so country wants to declare war. So-and-so country is putting up their nuclear bombs. So-and-so um, person just shot up this thing. So-and-so uh, just stole a bunch of money. So-and-so is bankrupt or whatever it is, right? So when you are constantly seeing these things, it shapes your mind in a certain way. So then when you see a good act, that's like a highlight, right? You're like, oh, well, you know, usually it's, it's bad. And then, and then like, let, let's say, you know, you get to that good news. And then there's just some random person, right? Just an innocent by bystander, as they would like to call them. And then this innocent, by this innocent bystander is just doing whatever they, maybe they work at a gas station, right? Maybe they work at um, like a local grocery store or whatever it is, right? And then this, this person just so happened to quite literally save a human life, but they weren't even thinking about it, you know? It was just like them naturally doing what they do, like, oh, and then, 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 like the interview on the TV would go something along the lines of, "Well, like I just saw that they needed something, so I just handed it to them or something, right? Or I didn't know that all this was going on, and I saved his life, or I saved the dog that saved the man's life, you know? Or, or a courageous uh, person such as firefighters, God bless their soul. They do so much important work that the average human, poof, yeah, I'll leave it at that. God bless them." Um, so like a firefighter, for example, right? Like we'll look at them and then we'll see, you know, oh, well, they do good work. There's good people, right? And then let's say you hear about the firefighter or something and their life gets saved by like a random, like older lady or something, right? Or a random, like young person, right? And then that firefighter is so moved because their life was quite literally saved without that young person or that old lady or whatever it was uh, there and didn't do the act that they did, 
in, in whatever situation it might have been um, in that scenario, you, you just make up one in your mind, you know, like, like they like stopped and then moved them out the way or something. They stopped, they got out their car, they asked them if they're okay, then they moved them out the road or something like that, right? And then their life was saved because all of a sudden there's like a truck that didn't see them and then they both got saved, right? Or, or something. This stuff happens in real life, but we don't typically um, hear about it, right? But then when you do hear about it, that's the interesting part. Now, it switched from negative news to, to, to amazing news. And then that firefighter is concluding in their heart that there are good humans. Now we've taken a step away from the truth. No one is good. Because we are filled with our own selves. Humans are separated from God. And God is the only one that's good. And if humans are separated from God, we don't have God inside of us as we did before when Adam was real, like as he should have been. Not when Adam was real, implying that he wasn't real, but um, when Adam had no nothing wrong with him, when Adam was perfect, when Adam was in the state that God wanted him to be in, right? The, the, the communion, the fellowship with God that he intended in the first place. So now, now this human being has concluded because their life got literally saved by another human being that humans are good. But we know from biblically speaking, we are evil. Jesus called us evil, right? He talked to the people um, when he was talking about the Holy Spirit and he was talking about another time he was talking about uh, God giving us gifts. He said, um, though you being evil, Right, calling us. Though you being ooh, excuse me, though you being evil train can give good gifts to your son, how much more your heavenly father will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask of him. Right? And then um and I think the other one is, uh, don't quote me on it. it it's like the, along the same lines, though you being evil know how to give good gifts to your son, how much more of the heavenly father of those who ask of him, right? So there's, there's a few different ways that, um, that we see uh, Jesus is talking about us, right? And, and if we were good, there would, there would be no reason for Jesus, right? So then back to the point of the story, that because these these acts happen, people will generally think that humans are good. People that donate other kidneys to someone they do not know, they will think humans are good. Somebody that is risking their life to save an unknown human being to them, to go in a burning fire, or a building might be on fire or something, or somebody's random child that you never met before, and you save the child's life, they will conclude in their heart that humans are are good but we are not right because if we were good once again there would be no reason for jesus there would be none jesus would never need to come if we were good adam would have never sinned if we were good there would be no people that say that god is not real there would be no people that abuse their children right and the list goes on and on and on and on and on of all the evils that we do yet because there is one act of kindness that is highlighted. Humans are good, right? No, they're not. That's generally how, how uh, like, uh, somebody might think that humans are good, you know? Like, like, oh, well, this person takes care of their family, goes to work, feeds the kids, takes care of the wife like d doesn't neglect their fam their mom or their dad right like actually listens to their friends or whatever it is right like things that we should do anyways as responsible um christians first off and then as as, as humans in general like you should treat your spouse who is you guys are one of flesh right so i mean like like yelling at them is probably not the best thing to do because you're yelling at yourself, right? So like, like the saying, like treat others as you would be treated. It's, uh, it's quite, 
it's, it's quite literal. However you treat other people, you're willing, and hear me closely. Yeah, and I'll say this and, and I'll get off this topic as getting into a tangent. But what, what you are willing to do to a stranger, whatever it might be, might be stealing money, stealing a car, um, doing some untold things from a male to a female, you know, catch the drift, I don't want to say it, uh, uh, going, like, cheating, you know, with somebody you don't know at the club, with with your spouse or with your, your significant other, um, uh, cursing at a random person, being mean to a random person, um, maybe killing someone else that you don't know for the sake of your own benefit, uh, the list goes on and on, right? Of, of, of whatever you are willing to do, listen to me closely, to another human being that you do not know. And this is, this, this is where your heart might arise like some anger or something. I will never do that. What you're willing to do to another person that you do not know, you are willing to do to your own mother, father, brother, child, sister, what, what, whoever you do love that's closest to you. The reason why is because at the core of the other person, they are human. Catch the drift? Now, if that other person is human, and you're willing to do that to a human that you do not know, bring it back down. They're human. What is your mother before she's your mom? Human. Sister, human. Brother, human. Uh, niece, aunt, what, whatever it is, whoever you do love and whoever you do like adore, they are human at the bottom of it. So you are willing to do that. If you're willing to do that to one human, your mother is no less human than you are or that stranger is. So you're willing to do it to them. Now, this is where the argument might come in. Well, I love my mother. She's human, is she not? Okay. You've stolen from a random person that is a human. You're willing to do that to humans in general. So if the situation was right, where you didn't know that that person was your mother, father, or whoever you knew, and you happened to steal from them, that's what I mean. Because now you don't see that person as human. You see him as a stranger, right? You, you don't see your mom as a human. You see your mom as your mom, right? But if you didn't know it was your mom's new car, right? If you didn't know it was your mom's money that, that, that fell or something, right? Or, or it, it was your mom's uh, store or something or, or whatever it is. Or it was your niece's uh, whatever it is, right? If you didn't know that it was theirs and you considered something that you found or something that you saw as a stranger, they're human now, they're at the same level. They're a stranger. Your mom is now a stranger because you don't know the car that you're going to steal from them is actually your mom's new car. So now you understand. If you don't understand, think about it some more. Let it soak in that if you're willing to do something to your own, to, to another stranger, that is a human, you're willing to do it to your own mother or your father, or your child, or whatever. If you're willing to yell at another human being that you do not know, cuss at a human being that you do not know, disrespect another human being that you do not know, you're willing to do it to the most closest to you because they are just as human as that other person, right? Like if somebody was driving down the street and they cut you off and then you flip them off or something or you say, ah, and you, you get mad and you want to like, you know, a little road rage, whatever, and then you realize, oh, that's actually my niece. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. You just did it to your niece, but you didn't know it was them. So now you see what I'm saying. If you didn't know that whatever you usually do, if you were to yell, get mad, punch somebody, whatever it is, to another person that you do not know, if you didn't know that it was your family or your child or whatever it is, if they just happen to roll up in a new car, roll up in a new clothes and, and get a haircut and you, they're wearing a hood, you see them from the back and then you're going to go rob them or you're going to go do something goofy or whatever it is, you're willing to do it to them just as much. Because now they're not your mom or your dad because you don't know, but they're a stranger, right? So that, I had to explain that a little bit more. But going back to the point, so humans, 
believe that other humans are good because acts like those happen. People save lives. Other humans save other humans' lives, right? And and, and then they, they get to the point where... Um, they get to the point where they conclude in their heart quite truly that humans are good. Why are humans good? Well, they saved my life. If I wasn't saved by this other human, I would be dead right now. I wouldn't have this time with my family. I wouldn't have this time at my job. I wouldn't be able to appreciate life more. Other humans are generally good. No, they're not, we're evil. So that's, that's, that's the part, just be careful. Just because God sent someone to save your life doesn't mean the human is good. What just, where are you basing these things off of is what I'm saying in the underlying message. Where are you basing this off of? An experience? Because your life got saved by another human, you now conclude the truth that humans are good. But now we, but we still have humans bombing countries. We still have humans d doing things to little boys and girls that shouldn't be done. We have humans that are, that, that are stealing from other people, their own family members. And you're saying humans are good? Why? What, what is it that's causing you just because your life got saved? Because God wanted to spare your life. Now you conclude humans are good? And you don't give the glory to God? That's the wrecked part. That we're so uh, absorbed by our own self, by our own uh, perspective, that we forget that it's not about us. It's about God. It's about God. If God did not create you, Nobody in the history of human beings would ever know you. I need that to sink in for a little. If God did not literally create you. Yes, this world is painful and it's not the best place to be. That's why Ecclesiastes is true when it says, remember that uh, the creator in the days of your youth before the days get evil. Because life does not get easier. You understand it more, thus it gets easier. Because you, if you're wise, you can move around a little better, you know? You can set yourself up for later, right? You can sacrifice now for, for later. You, you might want to go get education. You might want to uh, move up your way uh, in, in, in a, in a in, in, uh, corporate world. You might want to uh, uh, save up. You might want to... Uh, learn certain skills so you can run your own business or, or have your own shop in something, right? You, you might want to do these things, but if God never created you, how could you do them? Right? And then, and then when, 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 when that news flips and highlights one single act of goodness from another human being, that they didn't even realize it wasn't of them at all. It was of God. God wanted to spare your life. It had nothing to do with the human. Because God doesn't need anything. He's self-sustaining. So for God to create us, that's a whole other thing. That's a, that's a sermon on its own. For God to create us, right? Highly favored we are in the image of God. The only creation in the image of God, the only creation, listen to me closely, the only creation closest to God. Angels aren't as close as we are to God because we are in the image of God, not angels. Angels are not in the image of God. Does that make sense? That because because humans get saved by other humans, they will conclude that humans are good. But then I, the next question you have to ask is, why are you saying that? Just because of your experience. You have to consider the whole thing. 
if you if you seen one part of my life for example if you've seen only only the craziest parts of my life you cannot you cannot conclude me completely as a human being and say who i am and how i think just because you saw a sliver of my life same goes for everyone i cannot i cannot judge a book by its cover right or in the in the time that we met because that you might have met me at my best time you might have met me at my worst time you might have met me at a mediocre time who knows right even even within the year, within the month, within the day, you might have met me at the wrong time. Like I was just tired from work or something, right? And I didn't want to talk, so I just sit and yeah, you know. I didn't think, oh, that guy's mean. It's like no, I was just tired from work, you know, or something. But like, so you can't conclude the whole story. So just same goes with this thing. Just because one human being saved another human being, we cannot conclude truth all the way. That doesn't make that doesn't make much sense. I mean, you can. That's really assumption. People they they don't think some things through. That that doesn't mean they're they're dumb or whatever, or that they're less intelligent or or, or you know whatever it is, or that that they that they're less human, right? Because all humans do that one one day or another. You're gonna assume things. It's justifiable to to conclude something, but not to that scale. Probably because they don't understand what the scale of the of what they're actually saying. Because if you're saying humans are good, we have to also account for the evil that we that we openly, overtly do. You have to account for that. That that's in another human being that's just as human as you are, living in the same time that you are. So you 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 can't you can't just say humans are good. And then ignore that, like, villages get blown up and little kids that get taught, to, they, they brainwash them to just go and shoot a whole, a whole town, like a whole, a whole village. You, you cannot dis, dis, uh, discredit that, that those things happen literally as I speak. This is not good, but it's happening as I speak, literally, right? You, you got certain parts of the world that, that teach little kids to be boy, like young soldiers, and then they grow up to be heartless, right? Then, then they can look at you in the eye and, and kill you, <laughs> like, and, and it's nothing to them, right? They, they, they didn't, they didn't lose sleep that night. They, they slept better because they killed you, like literally, right? Like, so these things happen. And we very, we, 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 we rarely think about other things because we're so self-centered, right? Like all have turned their own way. Like now I'm not looking at the will of God, but I'm looking at my own will, my own experiences. Well, some people say, I, I tried Christianity, it didn't work. Some people say, I tried this and it worked. Like, oh, I don't really like religion too much. Like, I don't really talk religion or politics in America, right? Oh, I, I don't really do this too much, you know. I, I like smoking weed. Oh, I, I don't drink, but I smoke weed. I smoke weed, but I don't drink, right? Did I say the same thing? Or whatever it is, right? Like, oh, well, you know, like, I'm, I, I do this and that's just what I do. Like, I, I like going to, to, to movies or something. Right. Like I, I like I like spending time on on social media. I like uh, window shopping online. I like going to to different states. I like traveling or whatever it is. Right. All have turned their own way. And we see this in 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 the world. It's not just like that. We see it in. Um, it's not just that we see it in in like the Bible because it's, it's there. It says that all have turned their own way. None do good, not one. Right? So there, there's not a single person. In, when, when Adam fell and Eve fell, they turned to their own self. No human is good. 